subtitles. Why stay earthbound when prosperity <laughs> awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll he wake up in a perfect vibes. society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, I'll see on colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Character creation time. Modify your attributes. Choose what you'd like to specialize in. Beware below average attributes come with a penalty. Oh, <laughs> So this is kind of like Fallout. Okay. A little bit of lag, unfortunately. Laggy, huh? It seems a little laggy. Alright. Ooh. I want to be able to charm the pants off of people. I've got six points, huh? So I'll just put, I guess, one point in each thing. If we're ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. That seems good. Um, maybe some stealth? Does it seem like it's you? Does it seem like it's you? What you say? the Skyrim route and do a lot of stealthy stuff. I'm tempted to either put in stealth, tech, or leadership. Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not techy in real life, but I like to, uh, play it in Stealth might get me out of some sticky situations. Become a hacker, maybe. Leadership. 
good stuff. If you wanted to steal from the rich, you've come to the right colony. who can mix a memorable drink. A human cocktail shaker. You've made con concoctions that can end wars of fuel. Skip thrives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of truly signature old-fashioned, though. Oh, Dad likes old-fashions. I kind of like old-fashions, too. Hmm. The toss ball team mascot. Safety inspector. What about scientist assistant? Level zero class A. I should really be looking at what the pluses say and not the descriptions for each thing. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what we have here. Persuade. I might do that. Persuade. I like to be able to persuade. Transaction is finished without a smile. You lived with a good chunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up. Redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon. Bye bye now. Are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. Let's do that. So At least you know the value of money. Okay, dude. All right. Because I want, I want that persuade plus one. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. I want to be a female. So we're gonna. Oh, here we go. This might take me the full, full stream to work on. Oh my God! There's so much you can do. Oh my God. Eye color. Oh, interesting eye colors. I don't like the green. Oh, there we go. 
go. We're gonna live our best, our best your name fantasies right now. You know, with the purple eyes. <gasps> oh, here we go. Of course, if I give her purple hair, I don't want her to have purple eyes. probably change the style though. This style is very short and it's kind of hard to see the colors. Ooh. I like that, that iridescent rainbowish color. Looks like that mad scientist guy is here stealing your style. The little bun. Oh, we call this the math teacher. styles that I like. I mean, I, I kind of like this one. I might end up going with this one. She looks a little crazy. This messy bud. I don't know that's good for a battle because she could, just looks like she should be wearing sweatpants going to class. I mean, will they have the the mohawk look? second so I can look at the eyebrows. Some with some little designs on them. But let's play around with the hair colors a bit more. I'm probably 
probably going to end up going with a purple or purplish. Of course, I did kind of like that iridescent look. Might go with this. Yeah. Features. <gasps> Makeup. Let's play. We can make her the grizzled old lady. She's saying a few things. We might make her look a little bit older and not like. pretty cool. Kind of looks like, you know, a witch maybe. Some interesting makeup styles for sure. Hello. You're telling me I could either have makeup or freckles? Really? Can I choose one? I can either have makeup or freckles. Goodness. Yeah, I did like the freckles a lot. It's almost like scary. Apparently not in this game. aged her, but this really ages her. But I really like the freckles. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. This is always the hardest part of starting any game where there's character creation for me. Because I really like the freckles. Again, I kind of want to give her a witchy type of makeup and give her like a, a witchy personality. Oh yeah, but I think I turned, uh, at the beginning with the settings, I think I turned the helmet off in conversations or something like that. I'm not spending all this time creating a character just not to be able to see her in the game. Um, so I, th I think I clicked this, I saw like, oh, turn off helmet feature settings. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the beauty mark. I want her to be dark and witchy. And I made her just slightly older. Oh, 
good for me anyway. Looks to be your yeah. lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's uh, called explosive cell death, tonight. but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. Are you gonna... And there's a hope. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. No You'll like him, I'm place. sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. in letting his ship go to waste. Oh no, he died. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. Very pretty. <laughs> oh, 
love you too. Sweet dreams. Left control. That's what I figure. Shift to sprints. Oh my god. See, I hear something. And I don't have any weapons. I don't think I do. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Please don't notice me, please don't notice me, please don't notice me. Don't notice What is that? Oh, 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 oh no, stay, stay hidden. Oh. He almost noticed me. Okay. Don't follow me, please just stay over there. At least until I can get some weapons. frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I, I didn't like that one bit. I'm gonna keep sneaking. This is how I'm gonna be. Oh, do I have to jump all the way down there? on purpose. Oh. Hey there. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Yeah, you Hope do. you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. That sucks. What? Let's see. what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, oh. what are the odds of that, right? Poor baby. Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Let's see. Give me your gun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. I really not don't. Not counting the but, bullet in my side. Uh, I guess we'll here, find you out. can have my saber too for patching me up and all. How well I can all do. Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. 
Yes, nailed it that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Where am you I? hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Ugh, I hate tuna. No thank you. I have a gun. I can protect myself now. Sorry, Phineas. Oh, what just <laughs> happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... I probably should save my bullets, but I really want to shoot that little thing. Oh, hey. That's kind of like a... That's kind of like a fallout with a critical hit. Okay, and that's how you reload the gun. Okay, I might be able to survive this game. So. Oh my god, what is going on? Tactical time dilation. Oh, so it's like vats, maybe? I needed the meat <laughs> for fu for the future. I don't like the way he it's making that noise. Go away. Stay back. <laughs> I have no interest. Ooh, stuff. I'm just gonna pick up everything until my inventory is full. Yes, yes. Oh, I have a sabre. Just kidding, I know it's called a saber. Oh, she's got a nice butt. Yeah, and you put on your clown makeup before you start playing the next Fallout game. We're just gonna equip whatever we can right now. Tartarus sauce. Tangy sauce made with real atmospheric contaminants from Tartarus. Free sliced bread and fast ration pill. What's this? A mag pack used to pick locks. Okay, definitely need that. And then the sprat hide. Oh, a journal. Map. Okay, okay. Vegas was good. Well, Ve New Vegas was pretty fun. But I first started, the first Fallout game I ever played was Fallout 4 because it because I had played Skyrim first and I had watched people on Twitch play Fallout 4 and at the time I didn't know it was made by Bethesda who made Skyrim. And I was like, oh look, this is like Skyrim but with guns. 
just pick up everything. Okay. Well, that was easy. I don't have to do anything. We should take that too. And we're gonna take that. And that. And we're gonna take that. Let's see what else. Definitely want that and that. And fish sticks. Oh, I thought that was a porter potty at first. And you know, I forgot about that. And it said to press Q, right? Let's see. Next skills plus five. Stealth skills plus four. No, we'll go ahead and them. Oh, the codex. I'll use time dilation uh, next time if I don't forget. I don't need another one of those. I should probably see my limit is for my inventory. 100? Okay. Sneaky sneak. Just gonna spend the whole game sneaking. Okay, you guys, you guys are okay. Hey! Who in the blazes? Where'd you come from? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? I'm not gonna be mean. He'll make it. I helped Shouldn't him have done that. Mean. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. Excuse we'll see him me? back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. You're definitely I just, paid to you say know, that. Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Dialogue options. <laughs> Not I would know. Let's see. I 
bet if I used Intimidate, I would fail miserably. I bet you could get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. We'll use Persuade. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh, because Here we that's go. important. Oh, should I be yeah. shooting? <laughs> She died. Oh man, I just got her killed. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, I didn't. I thought she could hold her own better than that. I I guess I was wrong. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're dead! I wonder if that's gonna affect the story later on. I thought they were gonna last longer than that. They were killed pretty easily. I guess Baser's choice is not the best. <laughs> That's not the worst thing I've done. <laughs> Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. I don't believe you. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Me, 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 me. Please be informed that ignoring me. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What you gonna do? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare oh my to god. <laughs> all four of the scary. Four, three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. Not the best. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> this vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hmm. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Okay. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. 
Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. I'll try this cartridge to identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? I don't know if I like the name of that ship. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. No problem. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Work diligently. Improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. I, of course, I definitely want to become assistant to the regional manager. Some skills. Can I only put points in the stuff that I already have? Points available, 10. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I'm getting how it, kind of getting how it works. Kind of. Is that some leadership, maybe? I don't plan on fighting with my fists. Um... Just do... Mate wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Perks. Oh, okay. Let's see, do you want to be tougher? Cheater. Or from companion kills. Unlock fast travel. Oh, hey. Unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Okay. Good night. Sweet dreams. You know what? Let's 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 run faster. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run faster. Yeah. Go find the thing in the bob. I kind of want to explore the ship a little bit. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Okay. So that means I can't go in any of the These rooms. are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Yeah, I bet he did. I bet he did.
Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself right before he died. Probably go look for that thing the ship's before. engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Yes, yes, I, I know, I know. I'm, I just have to figure out how to exit the ship, okay? If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Um, I now, it seems to me, happened. and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't like your tone, Ernie. <laughs> Oh no, the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. I'm just gonna tell him the truth. Hmm. Altercation, you say? Yeah, shame as that goes. Spacer's Choice policy strictly prohibits dying during work hours. Well, Guess okay. I'd better get to cleaning that, up. That sounds very Can't just leave company them. property scattered about, blading out on the dirt. Care that they died? That who died? Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, well, we uh, we do need all the hands we got. What with folks in Edgewater dropping off like sissy pig tumors. Less well, competition though come for hunting time. <laughs> okay. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Mm. Uh-uh. Don't get paid bits to chat with strangers. You want to chew the rag, go talk to Silas over by the cemetery. All right. If I can make it to the town alive... I know, I see, I know I need to go that way. I need to go talk to the town leader. Oh my god, this is absolutely nothing. That is so cool. Please don't land on me. But I need to see something. Oh, look at that. Ooh, armor parts. I can sleep too. I wonder if I need to. Can I can I cook? Can I play with the? Can I do that yet? Do I have to unlock that? I have that sprat meat. I wonder if it's gonna go bad if I don't cook it soon. I should probably head on over to the town. God, this game is so gorgeous. I can't believe I put off playing it for so long.
of the enemies. Ooh, there's an enemy over there. I want to get snuck up home. Snuck up home. Look at all the mushrooms. Okay. Oh, I want. I should go look at the. There we go. What you got? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Growly sound. Sneaky Okay. Let's see. Oh my God. Is there like a dog or something? Or am I just hearing things? One, two, three. What? Oh, there is. Oh, maybe I should kill the dog. Oh shoot, when was the last time I saved? I didn't save, I haven't saved at all. You know? You know? I really want to kill these guys, but I don't know that I'm with, I'm at a, I'm not, I don't know if I'm there yet. Oh, okay. Let's, let's do this. Telescoping? Oh, we're gonna do this. Okay, that seems good. That seems good. Um, uh, I don't know if I really, you know, no, I need to fight them. I need to, cause I need the XP. Can I climb up there? Don't spot me, don't spot me. hide or anything. Apple juice. Better, Miss Bam. Oh, God, there's a dog. Oh, I got another one. Oh. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. Okay, we gotta run.
dying. Freaking far. I don't need this. <laughs> this game that well. I should not be trying to freaking fight those guys until I'm better. And then I'll come back and I'll slaughter all of you. So how about that? How about that? Huh? That's what I get for getting freaking distracted. Ugh. I'm just gonna go to the town. Oh. Huh? I don't need this. <laughs> no. Taking all your stuff now. What you gonna do about that, huh? Nothing, because you're dead. Jerks. Starting fights that I shouldn't be starting simply because I'm stupid. Whoa, hey, where did you come from? Where did I come from? Hot layer. Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Oh, does that affect anything? Don't be so sure it could be a marauder. Why do you say that? It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Uh. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. My goodness. I could lie. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Are you now? Junior in humor. Fancy title for a grave digger. Where, who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I think I want to tell you that. That's my business. I do what I want. 
depends on the work. Are you offering? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. The heck? Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Mm, okay. You want me to collect what owes, what's owed to you? I can do that. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure something out. I'm just gonna head on into the town. fun so far very reminiscent of fallout but kind of fresh because it's like in space you want me to collect what's owed to you I four workers today? still haven't paid up phyllis conrad ludwig and martin abernathy he's a special case you may want to twist his arm a little why is he a special case he just is look i don't want to get into it Make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. There's something else yeah? I need to ask you. Um... There's a lot of people Former to people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for Marauders by the finger. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Ah, avoid it. Shouldn't have said that either. Look, forget I said anything. Oh, all right. Sure. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Oh. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Not worried about falling. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. I should go. As Commander Shepard would say. The heck even kind of graves are these? They don't... Hello. There's some feral donkeys out there. Edgewater. Goodness. The Emerald Veil. Science weapons have weird and useful effects. Oh, okay. I need to repair my equipment. Don't need that. Keep your office equipment in tip top shape for superior company efficiency. Let's see. Let's go into every... Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. No? I'm going in anyway. Oh, goodness. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. I go where I want. Hey, keep it down. That kind of talk's bound to put sights on the both of us. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are gonna talk. I think it sound like I'm being watched. The walls talk, is all. 
We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol, boss is gonna hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Got some training I could take a look at you. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out-of-town physiker like you? People will talk. Company always tells us. Weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. That's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself. I really you wish you wouldn't sick. say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Okay. I'll leave you be. <laughs> oh. Dead, dead body. <coughs> or just dead bodies everywhere. Oh, I can't steal that. I don't want to get in trouble. Did I step on it? What the heck is that sound? Waste of company ammo! What? Oh, you were shooting someone. Okay. Alright, Miss Ma'am. Can I go in here? No. And... What about here? No. The barber shop? Killed that little sprat. Excuse me. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've Apparently, lifted off. Everyone a corpse. has a problem with my wardrobe. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Okay. We don't believe in free anything here in Edgewater. We're a spacer's choice company. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet spacer's choice aesthetic standards. Excuse me. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. You've got a fun job. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. So you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. For real. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Sucks for you, guy. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. You're welcome. Hold on. I need to lower my frame rate a little bit. Okay. Okay. I probably shouldn't steal anything. I'm not 
I kind of want to. All right, let's see. Cantina. Spicer's Choice Cantina. Look at this. Need the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, the cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Sure there is. We can have another zero G. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... to, uh... Where am I again? Do you not know? I'm asking myself the same oh, question. Oh, I ask myself questions all the time. For example, why do we spend money on these fancy latrines when we have a perfectly good wall outside? You've had a little too much to drink, my guy. Oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. Company lets me imbibe as much zero-G brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <laughs> you sound like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Okay. Sorry, I got a lot to do. I don't know you. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Everyone's so friendly and welcoming in this town. We don't welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Uh, it's because of the Marauder outfit I'm wearing, huh? You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. That's I didn't right. mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Traders. Traders. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Okay. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Do I you now? Him? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson, try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop <laughs> the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. My goodness. Let me see what you've got. Coming right up. And then sell junk. Do I have any junk to sell? 
much money do I even have? About 114. That's what that is. Trip tease. <laughs> Trip tease. Okay. Found the potty. Well, I can't go in here. Um, I have to figure out how to do that. How do you bolster your weapon? Okay, so there we go. Figure out how to do it. I wonder if I should change um, my clothes because I'm wearing. I don't. Uh, Alright, we'll just put on We'll put that on Maybe people won't be so uh, hostile towards me Heard something inside the walls today Nothing for us outside those walls I'm You totally ought to know that listening to your conversation General store. Hello. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. I don't want any tuna, thank you. No, thank you. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Guess I need to go to talk to him. Uh... Go right ahead. Plague. I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. You lying liar. I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick. We're rugged. Okay. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness. But the fact is, if you work hard, you, <laughs> you have got that. no cause to worry. I don't want to resort to violence just yet. Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature, it's company policy. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. That's terrible. Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Okay. What you got? Music to my ears. I don't think I have any money to give you, but we can see what you're selling. Frozen dinner. Spacer's chaw. Ugh, saltuna. I'm good. Hello. have insufficient bits. So that is the bits. I'm broke. I can't buy anything. I can buy some salt tuna. Bread noodles. 
All right, well then, I guess we need to go talk to the head honcho. Ugh, Santuna. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Oh, Let's be careful, working. you're not supposed to be We're talking about the plague, sure. apparently. I'm sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. Uh -oh. off this red. I should probably. Oops. There we go. Um. Okay, so let's see. Definitely need to find the head honcho. Spicer's choice. <laughs> Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. That's so stupid. All right. Is that stealing? Yeah, that's stealing. I kind of want to steal something. It even dispenses armor. Okay. Not that I have the bits for it. It's not the best oh goodness. monkey Argo I'm sorry Mr. Thompson sir you asked why it's taking so long to fix the answers technical don't apologize just try using small words for me oh my the goodness. cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna which isn't what we've got Mr. Thompson I think there's someone here to see you no no you just focus Miss Holcomb you and I are it's still okay. talking Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going. Seems we've got a guest. Oh. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. Uh, but I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I really doubt that. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. about me yes so it dawns on me seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through my ship needs repairs only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it Dang. I beg your pardon I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing I can't let you have our power regulator but I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yep, let me guess. You want me to do something for you before you'll help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Sounds fun. Hmm. You say mostly abandoned. What do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but... 
There are people who so live marauders, there. Some right? The surprise I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. So I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. Sounds like it might be a good thing. I need thing. those workers back at their stations. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Okay. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I have a feeling I might have to end up killing you. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Sounds like she might be in the right. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. Hmm. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Right. I can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want to guide. You want to be my bestie? I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure, I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Well then, let's get going. Companions. All right. Ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? Come over here. I don't want to stand in the middle of the elevator. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. You just joined the it's party. Just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Figures. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, well, he, he doesn't always her. get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's Life's issues. hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. So the black Mr. Sheep. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. 
Where do I find The it? mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. So I gotta go talk On account to of it being the only clean thing. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Okay. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Well, then I guess we'll go talk to the vicar. Make sure we're going the correct way. Right. So this way. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Wow, this is interesting. I can I can I pick that up? It's, it's not stealing. It looks like cool. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling? This season's tossball predictions? The quickest way out of town? What sort of spiritual advice do you offer? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. That's what you're selling here? Selling? No. It is free for all who seek it. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. Let's get back on track. What would you like to I discuss? Wanna, I don't want to make him mad. I need, because Parvati, Parvati wants us to talk to him, so. Uh, what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Something kind of shady. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? Or what do you think of Adelaide's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Is it really that thoughtful? Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? My intelligence is too low. <laughs> so what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. I don't think they're gonna listen though. Not if things are left to stand as they are. 
if you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I didn't think it was going to be safe. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred library. here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. I don't mind going to explore a library. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Of course. I'll look for your book. But why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Okay, Glad we see eye to eye. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Sure. Your, your idea... I don't know what you were expecting to get out of that Parvati. I have no idea. Because I don't think he agrees. Um, I don't think he agrees with you. Where are we headed? You mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Why'd you have me talk to him if you weren't really sure about him? You don't like him very much. The vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Still don't know why you'd want to talk to him, though. Coming? Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. I need to finish this. Just keep working. Work fortifies the spirit. Let's see about finishing this particular quest. Oops. I didn't mean to leave. But... Uh, I'm still working my way around. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Um, I think you have the wrong idea. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Uh, yeah, gotta watch out for those mechanicals. That's right. That's what I've been saying. 
We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly, some spacer's chaw, few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Sure. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. I mean, I need to get better armor at some point. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Sure. Abernathy and Phyllis. Terror on Monarch. Featuring real monsters from the doomed world. Right, I leveled up. My ding dong self didn't even pay attention. Oh my goodness. Um, dialogue. have a reputation. Okay. Companion ledger. Hey. You think corporate's ever going to visit? Another day at the cannery. Don't go knock. Yes, me, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Whoa, uh, did, uh... Did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a you spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. I definitely think you're sick. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm sorry. Here to collect your grave site fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? 
That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. You're sick, aren't you? Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Don't, don't, don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. Oh you still She's got a couple decades in you? I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He Silas knows I got knows. one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Uh, I doubt Silas knows. I think you're being paranoid. I am? Law, help me. Paranoia is one of the plague's known symptoms. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Everybody wants something. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Okay. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Oh, law. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken of over. Of course. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. I'll leave you be. You're We're making a mistake talk. working for Abernathy. What? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine. Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Why? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. So what would you use the medicine for, then? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Okay. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Oh, boy. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of law-breaking. But sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Are you going... I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. I'll think about it. Oh man, I'm gonna have to make a decision. I need to talk to... I need to go in the cannery and talk to Phyllis. And then I think we'll call it after that. Let's go talk to Phyllis. She's gonna let me walk up there like that, huh? I guess she don't get paid enough to care about people wandering around the cannery. So, I'll talk to Phyllis, and, um, after that, we will call it for the night. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. so, somebody else. Grave sight. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. All right, choo-choo train. That's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness oh, geez, of my I'm heart. So sorry. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. So this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Hmm. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Good, good. Must be tough losing family. 
Eugene wasn't family. I you said you were the close, you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so Maybe I pay the sucks. fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. God. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. That's stupid. You can't be serious. What are they gonna do, arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. Man, Spacer's Choice sucks, doesn't it? He's a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. Goodness. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. I'll let you get back to work. All right. We should probably um, go talk to Silas and to finish the quest, and then maybe call it for the night. Am I going to have to fight that at some point? Oh, no. What, are you kidding me? Oh, man, I hope I don't have... I'm going to have to fight that at some point. I just know it. Silence. Hey, Miss Parvati. Come for a visit? Not today. Just helping this lady. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Um, Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. That's suspicious. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Those you run into any trouble? Conrad's broke. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. I'm gonna have to do some sneaky sneak. Extortion. Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. To commit extortion. I'll take a look. I mean... Well, actually, let's see. that is what we are going to do next time. Oh, what's wrong with that pig? It's not the worst unless it's forced worst. <gasps> the poor pig is so mutated. Oh. <coughs> All right. I'm gonna save. And we're going to call it a night. Um, so, anyway, um, thanks for watching part one. And I will see you next time. Good night.